one of the things that's complicated about Trump winning is before he won, this show having a very diverse cast and not only a diverse cast, but also a diverse like crew who works on set. It was this great thing and it's, it obviously still is, but now that he's elected, they're also kind of in danger. <laughs> and like, I don't mean to sound like over dramatic because it's, it's honestly not, but though it always goes like this, where whenever non-white people are cast in like a big role, it's always a bigger deal because they're, it, they're like a, a symbol. Um, outside of themselves like Leah being Annabeth is a big deal for like black people in general if something bad happens with this role it will be harder for black girls to get roles like this going forward and it's it's she's like not only playing this role but she's also like representing her entire community um mm -hmm. but with Trump winning that's true for literally everyone on this show even the white actors like Walker, it's especially true for him now because yeah. this show is everything that Trump hates. This show is everything that people who vote, who voted for him and the people who are going to try to litigate things going forward, they hate this. They hate everything about this show. The entire like purpose of Percy Jackson, the entire storyline of it, the cast, they hate every single thing about it. And it's, it like, weirdly has especially because it's a children focused show is tr it it's like become like this weird symbol of everything that they don't like and whenever that happens they tend to go after them like i talked about this on my on my TikTok, but when when trump was president the last time was when the star wars movies were coming out mm -hmm. and um this weird thing happened where alt-right people who did not know anything about star wars pretended like they liked Star Wars and then pretended like they were outraged at the new Star Wars movie for having a woman lead and like two men of color as the other like main stars of that trilogy. And like, I know that there are outright people who like Star Wars, that's obviously true. But these people did not know, like there, there were people I interacted with on Twitter that did not know that Luke and Leia were brother and sister. They did not know that Tatooine is the planet that, like, Luke comes from. Mm -hmm. Like, just, it'd be like if you were talking to somebody who said that they loved Percy Jackson and hated this show, but didn't know what Camp Half-Blood was, or didn't know that Percy grew up in New York City. It was, like, that sort of thing of, like, you're obviously lying about how much you like this thing, and so why are you talking about it so much? And it's because... It, be, it was the same sort of thing. It happened in the way that it did, like the casting and everything happened before Trump was elected. The okay. first movie came out at the end of 2015, and then all of a sudden those people were under way more scrutiny than they were before and went through a lot of horrible harassment through those when those movies were coming out because the alt-right basically community online, especially on YouTube, use them as like basically like a talking point to try to get people on their side and to and they used it as like oh these people are ruining star wars they're like making star wars woke and things like that and and so this show is like kind of in this weird place like that where nobody is free from it like especially like they also harassed daisy ridley a lot and they're gonna harass walker for the same thing because it's almost like they feel like you're betraying them by mm -hmm. being white and being part of something like this and not only being a part of something like this but being the star of it and it like makes me very nervous to think about what could happen with them because they are literally children like at least when it comes to star wars they were in like their early 20s when this all started yeah. but at least they were like adults these are like literal children they're 15 years old at this point and and it's scary to think about what they could go through in the next few four years that has nothing to do with them it has literally nothing nothing at all to do with them and i don't mean to like freak people out about it but it's just part of this whole situation that's going to happen is and that's why people like becky and rick are like already watching things very closely 
because they want to be sure that they try to protect everyone that's involved in this thing that they created, that they decided to be made by Disney and protect them as much as they can, because it's like this before this happened, this was really great. And now it's like, well, this is still really great. But now, now what do we do? Yeah. Now it's a little scary that there's going to be like budding romance plot between Annabeth and Percy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially because some of the stuff with Trump is that they are probably going to try to challenge interracial marriage. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, there's so many plot lines with these, with this, th like the literal plot line of this thing is, is, is to not like give in to not want to take like unilateral power and control to control everybody but instead give that power and control and share it with your community. That is essentially what Percy does. He always puts his people, his community over his own like power that he has. He doesn't care about the power that he has outside of helping the people around him. Yeah. And that is a little antithesis of everything that they do and everything that they want. They would, they absolutely would hate this. And I guess we always talk about protecting child actors anyway but i'm like this is going to get so much more intense <laughs> over the next few years and we're just gonna like do what we can to like write it out that's all you can really do but i guess i just wanted to try to um almost put something in beforehand to be like if some people start saying like really aggressively that this show is like the worst show they've ever heard but they also don't know anything uh, anything at all about it just know that uh, you're not going crazy that this is why that happens. People like, this is what people do. They use this stuff as a way to get people to join their team. And yeah. there are a lot of people that joined that stuff because of Star Wars and Marvel and things like that in the last few years. Don't be, don't, don't, don't listen to them. <laughs> exactly. We do not want to fall down that same pipeline. Mm-hmm.